Hi, I'm Pete, and welcome to Just a Few Acres Farm. And you all know my wife, Hillary, Hil right? Hillary, still okay. Hillary. Hillary, yeah, still Hillary. Today we're sorting cattle, and we have minimal facilities. Being a small farm, we don't have the luxury of big shoots and holding pens and all that. And we've always done it the simple way, and it's always worked for us. I'm going to show you how we do it. And it's all about planning the work and then working the plan. Mm -hmm. There's quite a few steps to this process and step one is while we're having morning coffee I go down through the cattle spreadsheet I have on my computer that shows all of our head of cattle when they were born Who their mom and dad was their dam and their sire and we go through and we write down the numbers of the heifers that we want to separate out We call heifers to send to the butcher It's part of our breeding program to increase the quality of our stock through the years We only select the best heifers to continue breeding and we wind up with two copies, one for me and one for Hillary that's got the numbers listed on it. Now it's time to introduce the troublemaking subjects of this video. They're all standing on the hill over there. Well, come on, you cows, let's go. You guys know something's going on. Bye, cows. Let's go. Now they're all trapped inside this heifer pen here, which is just a small pen, and they're saying, hey, we were robbed, there's nothing good to eat in here. Now with our handy list in hand, and with Rust-Oleum primer, it's the only thing you should use to mark cows out. Nothing else will work. We go and mark the ones we want to keep. And there's six of them in this bunch, six heifers that gotta stay in here. We gotta just look at numbers. 2203, you're, you're staying. There you go. Let's see. Mostly these are heifers that were born last year, 22s. And a few 23s that are going to the butcher shortly. Peanut. Peanut, you're staying. <laughs> oh. Consult the list. Always consult the list. 2207. 2207. You're staying in here. Twenty two oh six. This is squirrel. That's twenty two oh six. No tag. Okay. Hillary keeps track. Squirrel is squirrely, that's why she's named Squirrel. She knows I'm after her now. Yeah, you're squirrely. There we go. Hillary's gonna go around and mark which one's on the list that we've marked already. Marked and marked. Are you a donkey? Yeah, I thought so. Hillary double checked, six heifers all marked in here. Now they gotta go into this pen here where we can do the actual sorting. Will you guys see I open this pen? You just wanna yell at me some more. <laughs> this is unacceptable. Now we wait for him to go into this little pen and we have one taker already. They're all going in to investigate. You guys, I don't know if you're, you're not all going to fit in there, but we'll catch as many as we can at first. Let's go in and look here. Hillary's going to unlock the main gate here. Okay. Pull it up a little bit. And then we're going to swing these two gates together. Okay. And we're going to use it to bleed out the cows back out to pasture that we don't want. Starting with you, Patty. Mom, Patty. Coco. I'm trying to keep my eye on the marked one. Uh, You're not marked. Bye bye, Tulip. Come Patty, Come we're done Patty. with you. Uh, you two can go. Uh, Let's go. Fun. Out. Out you go. Come in. Let's go. Huh. Well, we got one in here. But at the same time, we have a lot fewer to deal with outside, which makes it easier. This one that we caught inside is going to get 
let free in the barn here while we catch the other group. Now we open up the little pen gate and we do it all over again. We got two more standing here. Yep, she's squirrel. You can go that way, squirrel. Move ahead, <laughs> you goofball. You wanna open that gate hill? Yeah. And if there's any you can bleed off, you got a couple standing right there. Probably not. Probably won't. I don't Maybe they'll go. Not to okay. Hmm. They're busy eating hay. You can go 1704. There you go. Come on. Give you a little push. And then Rusty's the only one. Rusty's the only one left. Come on, Rusty. Come on, bud. Open the, gate. Open the gate right up. I'll keep a hold of this one. Right. Not you, 2209. There we go. Bye bye, Rusty. Come on, bud. Nope. 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 Come on, bud. Hillary's going to come in and sort this last guy out. He's being a pain. There you go, bud. Two more caught in here. We'll bleed them out into the main barn. They can come and eat with this one. Let's go, guys. There you go, try not to poop on the floor. Now after two sorts, we don't have very many left in here. Most of them have been blood back out to the main pasture. Now we'll let the last of these guys run in. We may have to push them a little bit. Come on, guys. Yeah, you're the ones. How'd you get in here, little guy? Come on. Let's go. Back in you go to investigate. You too. Go back in. You're marked, you're marked. You're not marked, you're poopy though. Let's go in guys. So now we only got one to bleed off and that's 2105 and then we'll be done. Here you go lady. You're gonna be a good breeder. Yeah. Now we'll get these guys that are dining on a huge buffet and bring them back to the pen. Are you enjoying yourselves? You gotta come back to the pen now. Come on, let's go. Yeah, you get a little kick there. Six heifers caught, two will be going to the butcher in a month or so. The best looking two anyway, and then the rest are gonna spend the winter in here. Now back outside, we're going to let the rest of these guys out to the main pasture. This hubbub will end. Go on, get out, let's go. There you go. Come on, go out, out. 2105, you're too friendly. These two bulls in the barn, they know what's going on. They know the day has come. Now I'm putting up the no man's land fence. Or more appropriately, no bulls land. Main pasture, fence, heifer's yard, fence. We want this gap here so that the bulls, when they get in here, can't walk right up and sniff the heifers at the fence. It drives them nuts. You keep a little distance here. And the bulls can stand here and pine, but they don't do anything else. They don't try and go through the fence. Having gotten everything else ready, we can let the heifers out to their yard. Well, everybody else complains. And of course, they have the run of this yard through here.
I'm gonna need the pliers, so. This hose runs out to the stock tank for the main pasture. Looks good. These guys got to figure out their pecking order. It always happens with cattle. Doesn't matter bulls, heifers, cows, steers. They all got to figure it out. You get enough air? It's break time. It's 90 degrees or so out today and sunny. So we take breaks. But I had to shut the fan off because this is the most important part of the video and I wanted to make sure you hear it clearly. Mm -hmm. What is a tick in the Eiffel Tower? You know that tower? You know, the Eiffel? You know the tower. What do they have in common? A tick in the Eiffel Tower. What do they have in common? This is going to be earth shattering. They're both parasites. Oh! <laughs> Did I tell a lot of really dumb jokes when we met? No, I don't think so. No. I don't remember either. We probably wouldn't have stayed together for long if I'd done that. Oh, it was close to 30 years ago, so memory gets a little foggy. Oh, that's it. So you just don't remember how bad the jokes were. <laughs> Maybe that's it. <laughs> the internet really wasn't around back then. This here running all along here is a temporary fence to enclose our winter pasture. With the pole barn addition there, you remember we had to take down the old fence and I'm still waiting for my post pounder guy to come and put in the permanent posts. I do have a post hole digger, a three point post hole digger. It is awful work here. You hit stones and the auger starts to go off at an angle and you wind up hand digging most of it. I'd be here probably for a couple days setting post and they would not be nearly as good as the ones that are pounded right in or vibrated in with a vibratory pounder because they are tight unlike a drilled hole. So that's one hassle. The other hassle is we only have one bay here in the barn. Usually we have two bays and a gate in between so that as we bring in because we're going to sort cattle to belong to each bull depending on which bull we want to breed them. Usually we have two pens in here to sort of have a way to isolate some while we're doing it and we don't this year so that's gonna make it extra challenging anyway onward and upward we're gonna go in and start taking care of the bulls with the help of my lovely partner uh oh titus are you the lovely partner and titus wants to come and say hi hey titus yeah check out the camera I just want to get in the middle of it all. Can't move a bowl. You just gotta let me do some work here, bud. Yeah, I ain't gonna tell you what to do, but. <laughs> Is he a bull? Is he a donkey? We don't know. Now we're heading out to the back of the winter pasture and we're gonna undo the gate. Oh, well, behind the back gate release. Yeah. Then I'll call the cows in. They're right over there. Come on, cows! Come on, cows! Here they come. 
Come on, cows. Come on, cows. They say, oh, you've worked us awful hard today. I don't know. We need new pasture. Unfortunately, they're not getting it. Come on, cows. Let's go, guys. Come on, cows. <laughs> Come on, cows. Come on, cows. Work it around the corner. Here they come. They see what's open. Come on, cows. Where are the, where are the calves at? We'll want to count out the calves. Make sure we got them all. Three calves. Six calves there. That's good. We got all them. Come on, you two. Oh, jeez. You're going to play the square gear again, huh? Yeah, that always happens. You guys, it seems like we just did this, you know? You got to learn the program. Yep, you got to go that way. Go ahead. Go ahead, guys. You got to work around the corner. Don't get, no, don't get all excited. Oh, my gosh. They're thinking about it. You gotta go in there. <sighs> They're used to the fence being there. Go guys, come in. You go that other way. You guys are goofy, how about you? <sighs> we'll try it again guys. Patience, patience. Here's where we had them last time. You guys, come on around. Just turn your heads. Think about it. Think about it a little more. Think about it. There you go. You thought about it and you saw that this is open. Now we close up the temporary gate to keep everybody in the winter pasture. It's good to have them in here. They'll knock all this high stuff down that's grown up. Now coming around the corner to the bullpen. They obviously would like to go outside. All right, gentlemen, poopy butts. All right, buddy, you're free. Now all heck breaks loose. They're heading into the barn. That's where we want them to go. And we want Orton to stay out, but Titus is out too. I don't think he'll be going back in for a little while. The butt sniffing has begun. He'll tail her. Mm -hmm. Meet your dad, guys, or some of your dads, anyway. <laughs> what we want here is to get the right cows in the barn at the same time. So we're looking for one heifer, 2105, who we decided to keep and one cow for Titus to breed. So Titus and those two cows and one of the cow's calves we're gonna catch in the barn when they're all in there at once and we'll have to sort them like we did with the heifers. But they're too agitated right now to start messing with so we'll just let them mingle in here and maybe later on they'll be the right ones in the barn. That's something, Hill, huh? That's country entertainment. I know. Watching the cows run around. They gotta be getting winded. Yeah, it's hot. Uh, 
Of course, we've got the heifers yelling in the barn over there, and that's distracting them a little bit. I'm going to check the fence for hotness using this old trick. Stalk of green grass as you slide it up. There's the zap. These gals are definitely not happy. They found the hay in the barn. One of the hardest things is getting the little calves to come in the barn, and the only way to draw them in the barn is if their mom's in the barn. Unfortunately, we only have to catch one calf, and that's her calf, Ginger, here. So we're going to put her in this little pen, and her calf will come looking for her eventually. Just go in the pen. Come in. You're a good cow. Come in. Come in. You walk in there. There she goes. Here's number two right here. Well, open that gate further. Come on, 2105. Come in. Come in. Come in. Give her a little. There we go. These are the two cows that Titus is going to breed her, a cow and a heifer anyway. Want some food to eat in there. Now with the two cows caught in the little pen here, we just wait for the one cow's calf to come in looking for her. 2305 is the calf's number, and Titus to come in sniffing after him. And then we close the door, and we're all set. The contractor for the barn left this pile of topsoil here, and he said the cattle will have fun with that. And they are. They're already tearing away at it. They'll have it all spread out in no time. What are you, a mountain goat? Well, I'm after you. I want to reunite you with your mom. <laughs> I do. Now it's just a waiting game and we're patient. Uh, we got to wait for Titus and the one calf to be in there at the same time and then we'll close the door and sort them out and away we go. Orden will be out with all the rest of the herd and they'll be apart for about six weeks, two heat cycles, and then we'll bring them all back together. There's two questions that always come up that we want to answer before we close this video. And the first is, Aren't you worried about the wrong bull breeding the wrong cow in this time that they're all together? And Hillary? The cows only come into heat about every three weeks and they are only fertile for 12 to 24 hours. So it's really unlikely that that window will be hit in a short period of time, which is like not even a day yeah. that everyone's together. The other question that always comes up is how do you decide who breeds who? and we never inbreed our cattle so we'll never breed titus to one of his own daughters and titus is our first line bull so everybody that comes came onto the farm originally titus breeds anybody that titus is not the father of titus breeds and then everybody that titus is the father of orden breeds and of course we constantly have heifers leaving the farm and going on 11 years now we've never had a case where we had to inbreed and line breeding is something that is very difficult to do successfully you have to have mm -hmm. almost perfect gen genetics to breed either fathers or grandfathers to um, their daughters or granddaughters so we don't do that and those are the common questions that's our day <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video it was another hard day's work yeah hot day but we're glad to have it done I think yes yeah only one day a year We'll see you next time.